Hello and welcome to the Little Nut Chronicles. Today's story is the story of the two monks. Now once upon a time there were these two monks and they lived in a monastery far up on the hill and um, it just so happened that they were in charge of buying stores and supplies for the monastery on a particular day and so the two of them strolled along down to the village to go and buy um, the basic necessities for the monastery for the next month. And as they strolled along, the older one kept um, sort of wandering off the path to smell the flowers and um, they came across a little brook and the old monk took off his sandals and washed his feet in the, in the nice cool stream. And the, the younger monk sort of kept putting up with this almost grudgingly. So he just wanted to get to the village and get all the shopping done before um, everyone arrived to do their shopping and the marketplace became too busy. Anyway, so um, this carried on and the old man kept wandering off and smelling the flowers and enjoying himself. And finally, they got to the village and it just so happened they got there um, before everyone else did before the major inflow of people. And they got most of their shopping done by sort of 11 o'clock in the morning. And uh, then the, the older of the two monks said, well, he wanted to catch up with everything that was going on in the village. So he left the young monk to sit at a coffee shop because the young monk didn't really want to go wondering about listening to gossip as far as he was concerned. That was not what a monk should do. And, um, you know, while he was sitting there drinking his sweet tea, it started pouring with rain. And he started getting a bit agitated about that. And um, after an hour or so of sitting and wondering where the old monk was, he caught sight of him over by the, the, uh, the shoemaker, the cobblers. And uh, he picked up all the bags and he strode over to the old monk. And the old monk was just finding out some news about what was going on in the other towns from the cobbler when the young monk came up and said right it's time to go it's now raining very hard and you know there's that river we have to cross on the way back up the mountain and we want to get across it before it gets into flood and the old monk smiled and he said okay okay just uh, I just want to hear the end of the story and then we'll go you're quite right otherwise we'll be stuck in the village for tonight probably um, so the cobbler finished telling his story fairly quickly and the old monk said thank you for the news and uh, off they set. So they were wandering along up the path and the old monk was just sort of smiling and laughing and enjoying the rain falling on his face. But the old monk, the younger monk kept sort of pushing forward wanting to get across the river or to the river and across it before it went into full flood. <coughs> anyway, by the time they got to the river in the sort of mid-afternoon already it was rushing fairly strong and it was probably about waist high for the monks and they were getting ready to cross when they saw a young woman coming along up the path behind them and she also had a lot of sort of luggage and baggage and things that she had to carry and uh, the young monk was getting ready to cross and the old monk said just wait a minute and the young woman got to the river and she took a look and looked at the monk. She said, there's, there's no way I can cross this. Is there any way that you could help me? And the old monk said, of course. And he uh, immediately took the bags out of her hand and waded across the river and put them on the other side and then came back again. And to the uh, younger monk's horror, the old monk picked the young woman up on his shoulders and carried her across the river. And gently put it on the other side she said, thank you so very much. And the old monk said, oh, it's no problem. And off she went. By which stage the young monk had, had crossed over the river with all the shopping baggage. And he, he looked at the old monk and in fact he was furious. Now the reason why he was furious was because the monastery that they belonged to forbade them to touch women in any way. Not even a handshake. But anyway, the young monk said nothing of this and uh, he and the older monk walked back up to the monastery in silence 
And the old monk was still enjoying the rain falling on his face, picking up the flowers, smelling them, and just generally enjoying the cool water on his toes. So they finally got to the monastery and unpacked everything that they'd got at the, the village at the market. And the old monk went up to his quarters and said to the novice, the younger monk, I'll you know, see you later. The young monk didn't even respond, he just <laughs> gave a short nod of his head. Anyway, for <clears throat> about a week afterwards, the young monk thought about this, what had happened, and tried to decide should he go to the abbot of the monastery and tell him what had happened, that the older monk had, had carried this woman across the, the river, but he didn't want to <clears throat> get his friend into trouble. But anyway, he was just generally furious because he knew his friend, the older monk, had broken the rules. Eventually he decided no, he would confront him himself about it and sort it out. And so, <clears throat> on the morning that he decided, he went up to the old monk's um, room, his cell, and there the old monk was sitting in meditation and prayer, with his eyes closed. And the young monk walked in and <clears throat> quietly sat and waited for the old monk to come out of prayer and meditation. And finally, after half an hour of waiting, the old monk opened his eyes, looked at the young monk and said, yes. And the young monk said, how could you, how could you pick up that woman and carry her across the river when you know full well that we are not allowed to do things like that, that we are forbade from touching women? And the old monk took a deep breath and looked at the young monk and he said, I put that young woman down on the other side of the river. Why are you still carrying her? Well, thanks for stopping by.